Hey guys, we're hanging out behind our warehouse right now, chilling with D'Angelo and Paco, answering questions. If you have questions, Gospel Reggae Artists, go ahead and send them to me, Mark, M-A-R-K, at lionofzion.com. What do we have, D'Angelo? Um, Edward Holland Jr. CD. Uh, do you think the rise of home studios have had a positive or negative effect on Gospel Reggae? Genre? Okay, so Edward Holland wants to know, do home studios have a positive or negative effect on Gospel Reggae genre? I think it's positive because it's put the power into the people's hands. When I started doing music, oh gosh, years ago in the late 80s, um, the only people that had, they didn't have CDs back then, <laughs> they had vinyl and, and tapes, but the only people who had that were literally talented. Somebody believed in them enough that they were going to invest 30 grand. Our first budget for our first album was 30 grand, second album, 70 grand, next album, 75 grand. It costed a lot of money to get into a studio. So only quality stuff was out. So that's what I like about that age. But if you were talented and you didn't have money and you didn't have somebody behind you, you couldn't get your, have your voice be heard. Now, with a little Pro Tools LE, um, with a laptop and a microphone, you can record from home, which is pretty incredible. Isaac Blackman, who has our best-selling download of all time in the history of GospelReggae.com, I remember when I first met him, he was recording, he reverse-engineered free airplane, mic, airplane uh, headphones and turned it into a microphone and was singing into that. <laughs> That's on like a little home computer. It doesn't take much, guys. Just get creative. But the quality has stepped down because of it. And I'm sick of auto-tune. Please stop using it. Please, please, please. I beg of you. You're not T-Pain. And you're putting me in pain. But um, it, it, it has oversaturated the market. And that's one of the negative things about it. But it just means you got to be that much better. You can stop. Okay. Other question from Edward Holland Jr. This is the question mark segment where people can question me, ask me their questions about gospel reggae about the industry about their ministry uh what do we have um edward holland jr asks what do you think of using rasta terminology in gospel reggae what do i think about using rasta terminology i guess i would have to ask first of all like like if he's talking about using a word like iration or vibe or or irie or something that's one thing but to say use words like collieweed herb ja or uh, uh, ja is good if you clarify who that is in your songs a lot of artists have been out there singing ja ja but then they never stay anywhere in their album or in their liner notes who they're referring to we sing about ja but we also have a full tract inside of our cd uh, basically an altar call saying that jesus is the only way um if you're not gonna clarify who that is that you're referring to, don't be vague like that. Um, so I, it all dep depends on the dread talk or the Rasta terminology. Um, Paul said, I become all things to all men so that for the sake of the gospel I might win some. To those under the law, I become like one under the law, though I'm not bound to the law anymore. Um, so I have no problem trying to speak to people in their own language. I I've seen this one image. Uh, it's Jesus with the 12 disciples, but each of the 12 disciples has a different outfit on and he's from a different country so representing you know yeah. different languages and it says which language would you use to reach these people and then down below it says their own and i would do that so if i'm going to talk to a rasta i'm going to call him jesus not jesus because they believe jesus is the name of a slave ship but i'm still going to talk about jesus i'm not going to call him his majesty without referring to who the true his majesty is airplane overhead we don't care we're still filming so Another thing that you want to watch out for, though, when you're trying to address certain people, is not just is not just the Rasta language, but church language. Are you speaking Christianese? Parlez-vous Christianese? Are you using words like sanctified, filled in the blood, baptized, and all these different things that, that, that the world may not understand and that may alienate you from reaching the lost? There's nothing wrong with those words, but there may be a, a more modern, more... Uh, something more relevant today that people can use to describe these biblical things. Um, you know, I love the message, though it's not a literal translation. It, it, it's a really cool passage, message, or, or a living Bible 
or you know some of those amplified bibles that give you a, just a modern day spin on old king james because we got to be relevant to people because the ultimate goal is to win souls so that all may know to fulfill the gospel if you got a question send it to mark at lionofzion.com that's m-a-r-k at lionofzion.com chilling out in the backyard once again on the hammock with D'Angelo, you got a question, send it to me, M-A-R-K, Mark, at lionofzion.com. I want to answer your questions, artists. Go ahead, shoot. Uh, Marcus Romero from Tehillah Radio asks, can you please do a radio liner for me? Ooh, he snuck a liner in. <laughs> you know what? That's a good question, though, because I think a lot of artists get asked that, but so rarely do they actually do them. It's easy, guys, especially with, with technology these days. Almost anybody's laptop... Or computer can record. You don't have to go into a studio to do that anymore. Here I am with my iPhone. I'm gonna click on voice memos. Yaga yo, yaga yo. Hey, yo, this is Mark Moore from Christ of Fire. You're listening to Tehillah Radio. This to Sean rules the nation with version. Yeah, man, run the track. I clicked stop. Okay, now I'm clicking on this, and now I play it. Okay. There it is. Okay. So now share and email. And it's going to pop up any second. And yep, there it is. And I just type in Marcus Romero and I just send the email right there. I can send it to him within probably five minutes. He's going to have this liner. He's going to be able to download it as an MP3 and it's done. If you don't have an iPhone, get creative. There's other ways you can do it. Anybody can get their voice recorded these days. So do liners the second somebody asks for them. Don't wait for them to pile up. I was guilty of this for years. You want me to do a liner? Send me an email. I'll get it to you probably that day. So artists, you have no more excuses. Now speaking of Tehillah Radio, I want to talk to you about something very exciting. We, for years, we've had gospel reggae radio through Live 365. But let's face it, it's lacked in many ways. So this year, I decided to, to make a huge change. We have now partnered with Tehilla Radio to do something massive. These guys, they're based out of Trinidad, Marcus Romero and his crew. He's got a whole bunch of DJs who, who do live shows every week. They got hip-hop, they got Caribbean gospel, they have gospel reggae. He's doing it. He's been doing it for years. And so we're partnering with them. If you go to the main page of gospelreggae.com, you'll see our link to their stuff, and you'll see that their site is now powered by us. We're doing this. We're uniting for the better cause, for gospel reggae to reach the gospel for the nations. Big up. 